He was an American college student from Maryland who'd gone to the Middle East in part to help young children learn English. 21-year-old Andrew Pachter was among those who died during protests in Egypt on Friday. Tonight, Pachter is being remembered as a man whose maturity and ideals far outpaced his young age. Andrew Pachter was to be a junior at Kenyon College in Ohio this fall. Instead of staying home this summer, he traveled to Egypt so he could teach English to seven and eight-year-olds. Mark Bragan was a mentor. And he wanted basically the underdog to have a voice. Those who were, who might have been harmed or those who might not have as much of a chance as others. Those were the folks that Andrew cared about and wanted to help. On Friday night, Pachter in Alexandria was apparently stabbed in the chest by a protester as anti-government demonstrators stormed an office of the ruling Muslim Brotherhood. More than 70 people were hurt. Pachter was killed. It's just so sad that he's off doing something that's just like so admirable. And you know, something like that happens to him. This was Pachter in Morocco last year. As tributes from friends built online today, a Facebook memorial page now has more than 3,000 members. So did more evidence of a young man's uncommon ideals. On a blog, Pachter wrote of Arab protests, neighbors are reconnecting with old neighbors by marching together. Strangers are finding common ground, and average citizens are realizing their true potentials in the real world. Sam Burkrot, a friend from New York City, had dinner with Pachter last month just before he left. He would want people to remember that he was doing what he loved. He would want people to explore. He would want people to push themselves beyond what they do in their normal lives. He'd want them to actually look at different cultures and experience them and understand them and try to teach them about his culture. He's just like, he's a really incredible guy.